What are you doing hey, here? Up, what are you doing here? Thanks first. I'm here to support my good friend Oleander. What are you doing here? I haven't forgotten what you told me. Oh yeah? Yeah. Jay, now, don't be ridiculous. We've all had a hard couple days, all right? I more than anyone. And I've said some things that just aren't true. And I've told Oleander that you've been going through some tough times and you've been saying some things that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. What kind of tough so times? So how's about... What kind of tough times? Well, what's that whole thing you said about pie or whatever? You had a bunch of pies up in your face or something. Got too many pies in your oven. I don't know. You said something weird yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember. Now, look. How's about we both head over there and have a nice chat with Oleander, catch up on old times, and not say any weird stuff, all right? She's trying to run for marriage. She doesn't need any more stress, all right? Right. No more stress. Hello. Hello, George. Hello. Hello. It's wonderful to see you. You shot me with that phone call earlier. Yeah. Walking dead man. Right. I know. It's all just a huge misunderstanding. I wasn't dead after all. I was actually in the Maldives. I didn't even know I was considered missing or dead. I had no Wi Fi for the last two weeks. That's ridiculous. As you can see, I am alive. I mean, he needs to be unelected. Let's be honest. Have, when, was you, when did you last see him, sir? Uh, I haven't seen him since I was signed the contract to join the government. You know what I think he did? I think he just saw uh, that you, Doc, as soon as he gave you the job, he just went, you know what? This is the city's his problem. And then he just went off to Barbados or something. Oh, uh, Jay said he needed to speak with me. That's right. Oh, How about, what about we. Jay? Um. How do you uh, plan on becoming the mayor? What's your first strategy, huh? You gonna announce it? Yes, I suppose I'll have a campaign launch. Um, probably in the next day or two. Don't talk trash about gangs live on TV. Yes, I was there for that. I was, uh, that'll, uh, that'll, not, that'll not benefit you no matter how much you want to please the public. Anything else that a candidate shouldn't do, George? They shouldn't make deals with people that they can't keep. Checking out our cars? Probably. I mean, I got a fucking bad boy of a car. All American, straight diesel. Glows in the dark. Did you know that, Jay? Did you see that? Glows I, in the dark. I, I did see that. That's it. How many cars do you know glows in the dark? I don't yes, think any. The, uh, what do you call them? Like the outlines of the vehicle, like the window, the rims, all that stuff, it all glows in the dark. No, I mean, all the middle parts. Most cars have headlamps. Um, Are you saying that every light is a glow in the dark? Yes. Are you saying uh, like a scene I mean, light true, glows in the dark? It doesn't glow in the dark. It brightens the area. My car is not going to help you see. But is it not also glowing in the glow. dark? No, because it isn't dark. Because the light is on. I think this is another one of those age-old riddles. It's not. It's really not. You're overthinking it. It's not at all. When the light is on, there is no darkness for it to glow. It's literally a light. It's the light. Hello? It's the brightness of that room. However, Whereas if I were to... What? Hmm? How did I lose? I'll tell you how I lost, buddy. The last MC, they all tallied up their their goons to vote against me because I said one bad thing about them on TV. I suppose I could go down and meet the people at um, Five Ball. I was just about to say that. You should announce it there while there's people there. There's some people there, but yeah, I'll be fine. Wait, hang on, hang on, wait, what? I'll be fine. Is that... Is that the fucking Patterson guys? What, 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 a, what a better crowd. What a better crowd to, to announce a rival campaign. Maybe mm. this isn't such a good idea, George. We'll meet you there, Holy Hand. Alright, I'll see you there. Oh my god, my car's in reverse. No. Oh, sh I'm, I guess I took the handbrake off. It went crazy. I'm sorry, Jay. Hey. 
I didn't learn it, Ajay. I, 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 didn't, I didn't see I didn't see the lights. I didn't see the light. Oh, I thought you were doing my left. Is. Ah, Jay Walker. Oh, I'm alive, hello. everyone. I'm George Sinclair. Yeah, look, look, look everybody. It's George, George, George Sinclair. George Sinclair. Yeah. George guy, it was all a false alarm. I was I knew that was for the last three weeks. Where did you go, George? Maldives, I just said. Oh. Well, as soon as Patterson, you know, does that thing for me. Oh, wait, he, he's gone. He's completely gone off the grid. Where is he, yeah? Where's your boss? I don't know. No, I can't get in contact with him. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Nah, I'm I'm quite content with the whole okay, thing. Okay, this everybody's telling Wait, are you a now. politician? Mm -hmm. uh, He's a reporter. He's a news yeah, reporter. Yeah, he's a reporter and ex mayor. Okay. Uh, both. Both. Oh yuck. Okay, I'm done talking to you. Yeah. Well, I'm just a journalist. I think you. I think you. You put him off him. Hmm. I think he's a bit put off by you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm put off by him too. Hello, Mr. Jason. Miss Tennessee, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? Oh, you know, just um, keeping on. I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time. It has been a while. How's Mr. Give you a little cuddle. Oh, thank, thank, a little thank, squeeze. Thank how's, how's Mr. Five? He's not watching, is he? He's um inside. You want to go see him? Um, sh sure. Do you want, do you want to go see Mom, Mr. Let's go five see Mr. Five. Oh, I'd love to see Fives. Who's oh, your friend again? Why would I? Um, oh, Oleander Adams. Oh, hello. I'm a fellow reporter. I really uh, like your yeah, skirt. Yeah, yeah, reporters mm. everywhere. Very pretty, no offense. I just don't like reporters. Oh. Okay, well, let's go I mean, I can understand that. Uh, no, 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 uh... Alright, don't matter. I'm busy. I'm, I'm, I'm bad. Oh, there, you missed it! Mr. 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 Fancy oh. Pants over here called me out. Can you again? No, no, called you a what? The door's locked. Hello? Who's your friend, Mr. Jason? Who's this man that's been rude to Mr. Five? Um, this is, um, esteemed... Uh... Oh! Where was it? Oh! Hey, George! Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Everybody move back. Go in a lane and play some balls. On you go. Go play some balls. Yay! Let's play play with balls. Uh... It's a quiet game. Hey, DJ, how are you doing? Uh, just for Don't one, Jay. Look at the guns. Look at me. Oh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> uh, well, I guess I guess I'll begin then. In the absence of any formal chair to this debate, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming along. I am your mayor, Mr. Robert Patterson. Uh, the person to my right is Ollieander Adams, mayoral candidate. Uh, and tonight we will be taking questions from you, the people, uh, to help educate your choice in the upcoming elections. Uh, in just a few days time polls open and i will be connected if i'm wrong on wednesday and close on friday uh, so this is your chance to find out what how we stand on the issues that matter to you uh, thank you very much for coming uh, and we'll, we'll take questions from the floor miss adams you may take the first question all right um well i would first like to say thank you to um, commissioner hunter for arranging the security for this event, and I appreciate oh, everyone for coming out. Doing, eh? Look forward to hearing you what you are um, interested in. Why the fuck are you teasing me? You're running me, towards eh? the mayoral candidates. Get I down mean... on the floor. I don't think it's calm. Just please continue as you are. We'll deal with this in the background. Right. You have been in office all of what two days in the past term. That's hardly any interaction. Oh, Nor have any of your staff been in, in the office. Well, I can't speak for the staff of uh, City Hall and the civil service. Um, I can speak for myself. Most of my interactions were with the surgeon when your close personal friend and confidant, George Sinclair, tased me and caused a heart attack. Um, I think maybe, Miss Adams, that's a subject that would suit you to avoid. I got a question for Miss Oleander. Yes, of course. I heard uh, one of the policia were filling your taco. Is that why you... <laughs> You're a snitch? Oh, she. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you mean. Do you remember what happened? Uh, I just spoke to you. It's getting spicy. Sit down quick. I don't understand. Don't remember what you did to my friends, Mateo? I didn't do anything to your friends. I 
think you know what you did. You know what you did. Oh, oh, oh. 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 It's all right. <laughs> it's not all great. Good job. It's not it's it's the man. I like how calm this has gotten. <laughs> <laughs> so proud of you, Esteban. <laughs> what the fuck? Knees. Holy like, shit. We don't know what led him he to killed Kyle. She killed Kyle, eh? She murdered him, you know? Kyle. Maybe I've... Oleander Adams did murder this person called Kyle. I've we can't say for sure, but that definitely no, happened. Person. Um, I would like to work with people to try and incentivize people who may want to open law firms, who may want to open just various other businesses to come to town. I'm giving them some sort of tax breaks, um, some sort of funding. As I said before, if I'm elected, I'm foregoing the mayoral salary. I will not take a penny. And I'm going to put that towards helping like, oh, EMS or the police department <laughs> or rehabilitation or more pu you know public um public forums to to help citizens oleander adams says she will forgo her salary as mayor now i know it may look to you all like i'm a incredibly rich man but i'm actually fairly humble uh, a man of my means shall we say if i wasn't being paid for this job i would starve in the street cold alone unloved and unwanted if Miss Adams is forgoing a salary, how does she expect to make that money? She's very confident she'll be able to do it. She has a plan. She sells drugs. Maybe she sells drugs. That I do Who not. can say? She but I think sells... it's more likely that Miss Adams has some very rich corporate benefactors that are willing Guns. to feed her coffers. Perhaps a big <laughs> cow farm, as it were. And they take liberties with your food. They take liberties with your safety. They take oh. liberties with your jobs. They take liberties oh, Mr. with Patterson, your wives. Please. I stand before you, a once proud man, buckled over with a walking cane. But I do stand before you. I am here. And even if I am not physically present in this space, I am always here. My heart is here. It is in this city. It is in each and every one of you. It is in this building and it is out with this building. Being a mayor isn't something that a person decides to do on a whim. This is a commitment and it's a commitment I make for as long as I am able to do it. And even though my body is broken down, my spirit is strong, my will is iron. And I will continue to serve each and every one of you to the very best of my ability. I must say it went it went quite well, as far as I could see, it, of course, because I was a bit late. Oh, she mm. held her own. Mm. <laughs> we saw the composition of the audience. You know, thing, things were going to go in a certain direction, you know? In all of the circumstances, you held your own. And if a few people are unable to vote, who knows why, you know? I, not, that's not to insinuate anything. Shit happens every day. Uh, people get late. Hey, hey I just fine. wanted How to say you? sorry about daddy. It's perfectly fine. It's my bed. Next time I'll I'm make sure it's quicker and I bring a knife, eh? You look very sharp today. Like oh, you know, it's wonderful. one way or another, it's a big moment, right? But it is. Thank you, Jay. That means the world to me. You've always been such a wonderful friend. Thank you. I guess I've never really had many friends before. But hold on to once you got. Well, you've always been a friend to me. There's... Good to find someone willing to take the big risks for the people of the city. Mm. It's easy just to let things go, you know? Mm -hmm. Leave things be, just... Let the cycle keep on turning, or, or I don't know, that's not that's not really a phrase. I'm, I'm just I'm just winging it, Oleander. It's... Sorry, Oleander, um, I just wanted to say, uh, best of luck. Thank you very much, Sasha. Yeah, regardless of the outcome, you're the best. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I can't even sing, so just, just, yeah, just, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, under. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Madam Mayor Lex. 77%. Oh my goodness. That is a Miss Mayor. 77%. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. 77% of the vote. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Well, now what? I don't know what to do with myself. Um. Dance. <laughs> Report news. I think for 24 hours you get you have the opportunity to enjoy yourself, Oleander. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is true. That yes. is true. You got a period of 24 hours to prepare for duty. Walk up. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. It's quite impressive, isn't it? It is. It's very nice. Aren't you really Lovely. taking the full scale of the thing? So I suppose you'll be Miss Adams' chief of staff, leaving your journalistic ambitions behind to... I doubt that. ...shuffle papers. We, have, we haven't discussed anything. And no. Don't want to make any assumptions. No, who's she going to give it to? The attempted murderer? The certifiably insane cameraman? Drug Baron and his little purple ship heap. I don't think Max works here. Max doesn't drive a purple car. Do I go for a drive, Jay? Do I want to go for a drive? A you know what? For old times' sake. Try to think of the promises that you and Miss Adams have made to people. I mean, people saw her at that debate. She was floundering. As much as you might want to believe that she's a good, just and honest person, and I'm the reincarnation of some ancient Lovecraftian evil, I was not really seem to know how to. Frail old man who had a heart attack. How's your recovery coming along? I'm getting there. I need to walk without a stick now, which is nice. You know, despite all your frankly ridiculous election claims, I think that it's. Maybe worth understanding, Jay. And this is the most frank and honest interview you'll ever get from me, so I would use your time wisely. Not at any point did I take a bribe. I don't even think I accepted money honestly off another person while I was in office, you know. No, not a gift, not a present, not a birthday card. Probably doesn't help that a birthday's in May, but... Not a single thing. Just good old-fashioned, honest work. That's what got done up there. Creating jobs, creating an entire industry. Never mind jobs. Trying to push reforms through the bureaucratic process. You know, you're a good mayor. Ah, shall we work? I don't understand, Walker. It's been what, the past year of your life's singular obsession. Track down the great evil that all of Patterson commits. Ruin this man and his business and his hopes and dreams for the future. Your re-election thing, that was... That was fun, he's did well. He's did well. What can I say? Look, for whatever... You may believe that you achieved. Democracy is a wonderful thing. Yes. And every now and again, it just... Throws up the most unexpected surprises. It does. It really does throw up some surprises. It's changes things, you know. And hey, you won. That's good, isn't it? Got a win. Except, now that I think about it, now that I really start to think about it here, when I was mayor, the most important thing to me was making sure that that out there, that city, did well. And I stood up for its citizens, I listened to them, I did every single thing that I could. It was kind of an obsession, really. It was a singular obsession. You know, run the taxi companies all well and good, but that took up a lot of my time. Kept me, kept me busy, you know, kept my hands busy. The devil makes work for idle hands, and my hands were not idle. Working away, doing the good thing, you know, doing the, the, the right thing, as some people would say. Must have been really, really nice for you. 
for what three and a half months you knew exactly where I was going to be exactly what I was going to be doing you didn't really have to worry about you know bumping into any of my boys who might take umbrage with you who might seek to hurt you you didn't have to worry about running into me in a bad mood must have been nice Jay. you know well, as I say, the problem is what we're going to do now. Don't have to look after the city anymore. I don't have to take pride in its institutions or its mechanisms. It doesn't really affect me in any way. If this city does well or blossoms or if anything nice happens to its citizens. You've really, kind I of can... come as far as you can, wouldn't you say? Like, you can't really go much higher, so... Maybe you should <laughs> try to look somewhere else, I guess. <laughs> you're right, you're right, Jay. I can't go much higher. You better fucking believe I can go lower. That's really, that's really the, the crux of it. You think that you've won. Your life is about to become a fucking misery. You, your stupid pal in a stupid office, your stupid patchy faced little fucking news reading buddy, and your stupid cameraman. Because this city isn't my responsibility anymore. My legacy is intact. I was the first democratically elected mayor of this city, and that was fucking great. And now, anything that happens from here on in isn't my fault, isn't my problem. Anything I do doesn't really affect that. I don't need to be better. I've been to the top. I've crested the hill. Now it's just a happy retirement and who knows? Who knows what we'll get up to along the way, but I can guarantee you, you are going to fucking hate it. You're going to hate every fucking second of it. Might seem like a victory, Mr. Walker. But nobody really wins. Except me. I always win. Enjoy your walk home. Oleander Adams do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and laws of the State of Los Santos and all local ordinances, and that I will faithfully and impartially perform and discharge the duties of the office of mayor according to the law and the best of my ability. Fuck them. Fuck them all.